so I turned to the streets. You know, I ended up getting caught up in affiliations. I used to get caught up in drugs and, uh, for you know it, I ended up getting in a lot of trouble. Amen. What, what really hurts me is my grandmother, she was my rock. She's the one that raised me. And Ooh. she tried to raise me, right? Look at Blaine's daddy. He looks serious. She always steered me in the right direction. I just wanted to prove to her that all the hard ache and tears and sweat and blood and work that she put into my life wasn't in vain. It wasn't for nothing. My grandmother was the one that had a special place in my heart. And I really always felt like Aww, she's the one that loved Blaine. me the most. How cute. It's so hard not having my grandmother in my life. We miss you, Wanda. I just want to show her that I appreciate her worth and each and everything that she's ever done for me. Wanda, amen, amen, amen. So I knew I need to make a change. A little over two years sober now. Amen. I met a yeah, wonderful yay. woman. Two hey, years sober. She's been a great person in my life. We have supported each other through our recovery. And not only was I blessed with her, I was blessed with her beautiful daughter, Molly, and her wonderful grandmother, Gammy. <laughs> finally blessed me with it. All right, you guys, let's get into it. What's up, party people? I'm Erica Edwards, and I'm back getting it in. Okay, this is episode 46, season four, Love After Lockup. Uh, the ring is off. All right, you guys, this one is going to be a quick key key as we go over this episode, because I know I'm still one behind, but let's make it fast. I am in it to win it, people. Let's do this. All right, you guys, here we are. Okay, so let's talk first and foremost about, let's see, Lindsay and Blaine. Let's start off with them. All right, so we're talking about Lindsay and Blaine here. Let me get out of <laughs> out of the way. All right, you guys, this seems like I am still whatever. Anyway, here we go. So Blaine, Lindsay leaves in the beginning, and she's like packing a bag. She all big and bad. I'm going where I'm going. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. Tee hee ha ha. Whatever. Then Blaine is devastated because he's giving his, and that's why I opened up with, because I actually was very touched about, by this scene with his grandmother, giving his sort of testimonial, and I thought it was super cute. Um, first, we see Lindsay peeking in the door, then she comes in late. Um, I wanted to pause so bad. Did you all see Miley's face? She was, she looked like she was over it, honestly, um, but who knows? We're not going to pass any judgments here. So uh, basically, after we see Lindsay and Blaine kind of go through this, they make up. That's pretty much it. She thinks Blaine is such a wonderful guy. Um, but all I can say when it comes to Lindsay, I believe Blaine and his testimonial. But when it comes to Lindsay, all I can say is this right here. Fake, fake fake. <laughs> right? That's all I can say. I'm sorry, Lindsay, girl, but you, you, you was a fake one. All right. Um, maybe it's just because of, you know, Deontay or whatever, but I think she's fake. So let's see here. Let's move on from Lindsay to another fun little quick key key. Let's check out, um, Eris and Cameron. So for those of you who don't know, in the last episode, they got into it mostly just because he went to the rap studio to film something as opposed to looking for a job. He feels like, you know, he's um, he's been off for a while, so he can sort of do what he wants to do. He can sort of, you know, chill out and, uh, you know. And and not have to actually work. Let me see if we can get my camera to go a little bit better. 
because it's I'm not liking it. <laughs> but all right, sorry you guys. Anywho, so uh, really, you know, the main thing between these two this episode is Cameron has a call to his sister. Let me get that up here for you so we can take a look and see what's going on with Cameron and Eris. Here we go. Let's see here. Let's check them out. Here we go. Yo. What you doing, boo? Nothing. Sitting out here on my little porch. Pissed off. Me and Eris had a little fight last night. What y'all was like? She got mad at me because I went to the studio. But she told me to go look for a job. But I went to the lab. I mean, that is your job. But from a woman's point of view... Okay, Cameron, what does that look for? First of all, she told you to go look for a job and you left out the fact that you actually lied and said you were looking for a job when in actuality you were not. But okay, let's keep let's keep it popping, keep it moving. Let's keep it popping, see what else he has to say. Because, uh, yes, Cameron, you're a husband now and a father. Even though you and your daughter are the same height, you still are the adult in this equation. So let's get it. You know, you're her husband. Your husband is the provider. She wants you to have a guaranteed way. I told her, like, I just got down here. I only been down here for a couple of days. Like, let me let me bounce around, and get my feet wet first. Like, I mean, damn. We not kids no more. We are 30 up. So, come on. Put your feet on the pavement. Get your feet wet. She just wants you to do that. I'm telling you from a man's point of view, that's not going to happen. Yeah, 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 that's not going to happen. All right, so that's what the sister had to say. And all I can say is, that is, whoop, that is, okay? We're not going for that. You just got out of prison. You need a regular paycheck and then like maybe you can rap at night. I don't know. But you all, let me know what your thoughts is. Would you allow your man to quote unquote get his feet wet after uh, getting back from prison? Or, you know, would you let him uh, do what he wants to do? In this case, I totally agree with Eris. But that being said, he goes in, he says he's sorry, he's going to get a job, he's going to support her. She pretends that she loves his music. I don't know, maybe she really does love it. And they make up. So that's pretty much it with them. It's pretty low key. Let's move on pretty quickly right here to Amber and Puppy. So what's interesting with this is Amber meets with one of her friends who is a restaurant owner and he offers to let her be a partner in the restaurant, but she has to come up with 50K. Now, I don't know what they're getting paid after Love After Lockup, but I'm so curious to see where puppy, excuse me, where Amber is going to come up with 50K. You know what I'm saying? Here comes the money. Uh, so we'll see how she comes up with it because I have no idea how she will ever. Do. Comes the money. So we'll see you guys how Amber will come up with this 50,000. I feel like she's just going to ask TJ, TC, her boyfriend for the money. But now what is funny is Puppy moves in with Queen. I love me some Queen. So I had to get a clip of that because I think Queen is like the realest of the real and the realest black, <laughs> black woman on this show. So let's uh, watch that right quick for a quick key key. Nothing. Sitting out here on my little porch. Oh, wait. Pissed okay, this is here. We, we, we've seen enough of you. Let's get on to... Sorry, guys. Wrong clip. 
Let me add the right clip to the stream. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so let's do Amber and Puppy. So let's see Puppy and Queen for a quick key key. Okay, Queen has a nice little house. Oh my God. I'm liking her little block. Right now. You look great. Thank um, you. I'm going to Aww, Queen so too. that I can get on my feet and I can be free from Eric. I brought my stuff because I'm okay. going to stay for a while. Her mom okay. wasn't having it. I'm I guess sure her mom was like, you only here. stay, but you but got she to go now. I don't start. Oh. Yeah, I am. I know. I got to get a job, though. Kind of seems like me and Amber are like trading places. She's got to be like at home, being stepmom, and I'm moving in with my with my friend. I'm gonna be able to do what I want. You got more than this. Okay, you guys, look at how sad she looked about being able to do what her want. Girl, you is free now. You can live your best life, get a job, and be self supporting. So that's a good thing. So we're kind of like swapping places. All right, my internet is unbelievably slow today. I know I needed to leave Eric. I just didn't want to, Queen. I didn't want to leave him. Why? Because when it's good, it's really good, you know? See, but he knew you wasn't going to let go. So you were just going to ride with it, being crazy and stupid. I mean, I wasn't being crazy and stupid. I yes, you were. Bitch, you was being I decided, believe, bitch. No, you I was believe, being crazy. I, but I believe what he told me, what he told me, I believed in that. Like Do you saying, not know everything he told you? That's what every married man tells the side bitch. All right. She ain't never lied. Exactly, queen. That is what every married man tells the side chick puppy. I'm sorry to say that, but that is the truth, Ruth. So, yes, you guys. Um basically you know she kind of keeps it real that's what i like i love about queen is she keeps it real with amber and puppy on their relationships the mess they're getting into you know what i'm saying she seems to kind of ground them into reality and i think that's why puppy really went over there because i think her mother her mother was still kind of like oh i think eric is a good guy and i can't believe this happened but i think queen will let her know like girl you know you decide chick you know he's still sleeping with his wife, right? So that one was a funny one. Let's move on really quickly. Uh, let's do Chance and Taylor. Let's talk about them right quick. All right. So the main thing that happened with Chance and Taylor this episode is Chance, um, Taylor has the baby. And so she's really having a hard time. She's really struggling and she's trying to, um, you know, she, she calls Bobby to, t you know, set up a chance for her to come over so she can talk about um, their money struggles, how he's not there. She's feeling overwhelmed. And we find out in this episode that Chance has lost his job. So now we don't know if it was his fault or not his fault. He goes to one of his friends to like beg him basically for a job. And his friend is like, okay, well, I can get you in like a month. But right now, nah. Chance is like, okay, um, we'll be drowned by all of our finances in a month. Oh my God, what am I going to do? So what does any gambling addict do? Let's check it out. This is what he just, this is what this, this, you know, mother sucker decides to do. Let's check it. So he goes to a bar and he's chilling at the yeah, bar. Actually, uh, they had a lot more of this than I thought they would when they first brought him in, man. And he sees some freaking slot machines. Oh my gosh. Is this what we doing? Oh, yeah. And then we see Taylor taking care of the, care oh, of the baby while he's sitting there putting coin after coin in the machine. Uh, yeah. I was just lost 70 bucks, 30 minutes. <laughs> Stupid, man. I can't believe I just did that. I just felt like I was going to win. I mean, I really felt like I was going to win. And who put 70 bucks in the machine doesn't win? What do I do? 
a full ass game. Oh, okay. Really? Really? Okay, is that what we're doing? He's drinking, and she's at home taking care of all the kids by herself, and he's um, out there losing the money that he is actually doesn't even have anymore, okay? Because he lost his job. So he's out there drinking. Um, all I can say is run, Taylor, run, okay? Go back to Bobby. I mean, now that is, I, I don't know. It's, I'm not gonna say it's unfortunate. Every child is a blessing. But if you're going to actually go and gamble after you lose your job and then still lose $70, how does he even have money for those shots? I don't even know. So good luck with that, Taylor. All right, so let's talk about my favorite, favorite couple. Shout out to uh, Shy Towns, Monique and Derek. So we, we catch up with Derek. Derek is trying to go to Chicago. He and Monique have made up. He's going to Chicago to propose. That's what he tells us. He's going to propose to the lovely Shy Town Monique here. And um, I love me some Monique, although I think their relationship is crazy. I don't think Derek is authentic. But that being said, I do really like Derek's. Um, I do really like Derek's big ma. So let's take a look and hear what she has to say and about the proposal down ideas. And be committed. She loved me. I love her. Okay. You know, even though it's been rocky. There are some things that you have to clean up. That's why I'm going out there. Um. Yes, he has some things to clean up, like those 10 women that he slept with. Um, clean up, get tested up, uh, come back negative, and then, you know, Monique, then maybe you can, you know, hook up with them. But girl, don't fall for it. Then he shows, let's see, go ahead. Come on. Come on, Wi-Fi. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> oh, my Wi-Fi today is the worst. All right, let's kill this video. This one isn't really working today. Let's dead this one. All right, you guys. Well, basically in that scene, he shows Big Mama the ring and she's actually very supportive. And as you can tell by my thumbnail, she even gives him $500. And I was like, oh, grandma loves you, Derek. Grandma loves you. So that is a positive thing. Let's move on to our last couple. Uh, let's see here. Our last couple of the evening. Let's move on to the infamous. Okay, so Justine and Mike, actually, I like their relationship. I think they have a cool sort of realistic dynamic. They don't come off as scripted. They seem kind of natural. So they go to Vegas to see Mocha. Now. Um, I don't understand how the car got to Vegas, like they were flying. And then lo and behold, you know, when they get the car, they're in that same BMW. And I'm kind of like, y'all, y'all, how, how, how love after lockup? What are we doing here? But whatever. And so they go, he takes her to the studio to see Mocha and Mocha gives her a stank trifling, a trifling, 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 um, hello, like he's not even really feeling her. He's not feeling Justine at all. Um, but he's not disrespectful. He's just a little stank and salty in his, uh, in his greetings. Um, then when he finds out that Justine is pregnant, oh my gosh, does Mocha have some words for Mike? So let's get this clip to play. Here we go. And they are still, um, at least half the time, dressing alike, which I find interesting. So let's see. Come on. Come on, clip. Let's see here. 
All right. Let me know what you really want to do, bro. Do you want to be a family man? Or do you want to be the rapper known as Montana Mills? What are we doing? What are we doing? You frustrated and you don't understand where I'm coming from. But, you know, picture you being confined for that certain amount of time and feeling like the clock is against you. And you know how I love my children, man. I want to keep having kids and you know. So when we traveling and we on tour, we going to Egypt, we going to Turkey. We got a nanny to come with us. You going to cover that or you want me to cover that too? Mocha's well, telling me things I don't want to hear right now. You know, I tell him that we're pregnant and we're having a baby. He didn't take the news very well. You know, he thinks the baby and Justine are going to slow me down. I lost a um, lot of time with Mason and Noah. They were... Hello, they are going to slow you down. That being said, though, I guess, Mocha, I don't understand. What about Future? What about all these rappers that have like a trillion and one kids? Um, you know, but I get it. He's married. So that is a different look um, to actually be married to your baby mama. But that being said, there's certainly a lot of rappers... Lots of rappers with lots of children. All right, let's hear what Mike has to say about it. Come on, Mike. Come on, come on. Born, I was shipped away. I come home, they're already running around. They're like this big. So I lost the joy of having that bond with my child let me ask you one simple question when was the last time you heard of a major record label signing a married rapper I'm let waiting. mike be the first maybe he'll be the first one who actually married somebody but yet your ring is still on so it shows me you do not want this music bro you want kids you just said it and you want more kids you want a life with her and now you got a baby come on bro what what are you doing there are rappers who are married but they get married after the millions. He has a wife, he has kids, he has responsibilities. Nobody's gonna sign him. Right now you're wasting my time, bro. Let me know what you really wanna do because he's competing with the kid who's 18 with no That's responsibilities, true. no, no, that bills, part is no true. nothing. And that kid is gonna grind 24 hours. I don't even know why you're in Vegas, bro. Maybe what? this is not the place for you. I don't understand why I just can't work, man. Like, I don't understand why. Like, why are you in Vegas? Want to work? Every job he is hiring. You want to work? Let me know. The Invincible Montana Mills working at nine to five. Oh my goodness! See how much Don't plaques fall I got this, in there. Mike. That's over fifty plaques, bro. I know what I'm talking about. I've been you what I was talking about. Take the ring off. Who are you talking to? You're not. I'm gonna be the bad guy some way, somehow. Like it doesn't really matter, man. Like, so we good? You know, so we good? We going to go, bro? This is my man. Oh my oh, goodness! Got a call. All right. Fly alone. I'll do what I gotta do alone, man. You know. Sure now. Yeah, man. Most right. convinced. Him. <laughs> How much to money is he gonna give you, dude? How much money? Really, nigga? How much? Really? That's all I got to say on this one. I'm here to try to get your life. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it. He kind of breaks it to Justine that he, oh, and then I forgot. Mocha also tells him to take off, the, take the pictures off of Instagram and Facebook and everything so he can start moving more like he's single. Justine don't say nothing, but she's seething on the inside. So we'll see kind of what happens with them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for staying till the end. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but um, each week we'll be getting bigger and better. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, folks. See you soon. You ain't talking, you ain't talking.